everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video today we are going to be making food out of nothing <laughs> so we are running really low on groceries and this is gonna be the week that I push through and that I don't go and get groceries we have a lot of canned goods we have some random produce in the fridge we're really really low I'll show you the fridge here in a minute um, but we have a lot of random food that needs to get eaten up and every now and then I just really like to challenge myself to just be creative to save money with budgeting um, as most of you know we're self-employed and the quarantine is affecting everything it's affecting our income our life our day to day so I'm trying really hard to um, basically bend to the spending wherever I can and food groceries budgeting is just another area that I can be helpful and uh, help make our ends meet. So we are not going to go buy groceries this week. Today's Monday. Um, we might have to go just fill in some cracks like eggs, milk, things like that. But I'm going to try my best to use what we have and I'm going to take you with and show you what we're going to make. All right, we're taking you to the fridge here and showing you what we have. So we've got um, some random things, some beef, mac and cheese and eggs, some celery, um, this is coffee, it's mocha sauce for Josh's lattes. We've got a little bit of yogurt, um, some very gross something that needs to be thrown away. Um, and we've also got some carrots up here, pizza sauce, a deviled egg, lemon juice, and milk, and then also some random veggies down here as well. A little bit of lettuce. So our goal is to use up everything that you see in the fridge and hopefully not have to go grocery shopping at all. Yeah, I throw it. You throw it. What do you want to do? I'm cooks. You want to cook? I totally did not tell him to go get this for me. Okay, I totally am amazed that he knows what to do. I did not tell him to do any of this. We need to put it in the soup now. Yep, should we put the garlic in the soup? Okay, let's put the garlic in the soup now. Do you like cooking? Do you like to cook?
fastly approaching supper time here. I have my lentil stew concoction going on. And I wanted to show you this little trick that I thought of today. So, you know, my goal this week is to not buy groceries and we have just a little bit of yogurt left and we had a whole gallon of milk. So, I filled up my Instant Pot with the two quarts of milk um, and made some yogurt. So we will have probably like a quart and a half or so of yogurt because I love to add yogurt to smoothies. Um, Josh and Eric can eat it with their baked oatmeal. They can have yogurt parfaits. There's a lot of things that you can do with yogurt, but I didn't want to buy it. So I thought, I've, I just felt so thrifty because here I thought of it, I can make my own yogurt and I don't have to go out and buy any. So if you are low on yogurt, but you have milk, just make your own. So this will last us for the rest of the week um, and we still have a good half gallon of milk. So win-win. The ultimate definition of how I cook I have no idea how long it's been boiling. I don't have any measurements, nothing. Um, the veggies are semi-soft. The bay leaves are still in there. I'm gonna leave them in there. Excuse the obnoxious music in the back. Here are my, um, are these green lentils? I don't know, they're just lentils. And I'm literally just gonna dump until I think it looks about right. I might end up having to add some more chicken broth. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to. Um, but there we go. I'm just gonna let this simmer now with the lid on. We will check on it in about half an hour or so. Then we are on track to eat in about an hour. And then we are on to the next thing. So I'm going to make some quinoa, like a cold quinoa salad to go with our dinner tonight. I have not had quinoa in months, so I'm gonna be anxious to see how I feel on it. Um, I just have some water going. I didn't measure anything. I'm gonna let it boil. And then once it's boiling, I'm going to add the quinoa in until I think it looks good. This is probably one of the last things on my list for today, and that is some baked oatmeal. Now I'm attempting a vegan baked oatmeal simply because it doesn't have eggs. Or I guess I should say, um, it's just a eggless baked oatmeal. I use butter and milk. So I'm gonna have baked oatmeal because it will stretch further this week. We have two eggs left, and it's Monday. We've got a, some bacon. Um, so we made a pan of baked oatmeal so that we can eat it with my yogurt and hopefully it will feed us most of the uh, this little concoction that I made. It is a quinoa salad with cucumbers, tomatoes, some cheese, a couple different seasonings. You can find lots of recipes on Pinterest. We had this with supper. We had the soup. Just getting done here straining my way from the yogurt and um, Josh and Eric have already dug into the baked oatmeal. Um, and yogurt. Eric needed a little bit more. So I'm really impressed with how this turned out. If I can, I'll link the recipe below that I made it um, uh, egg free. So I hope that you enjoyed all of my small concoctions. And we have the yogurt in the fridge. We got about a quart and a half from two quarts of milk. So are you ready for bed? Look, mommy has more yogurt for you. Should we go eat more yogurt? Cow. Is that yum? It's yogurt and oatmeal. Mm, is it good? Mm. It's a baby It's a baby No, it's blueberries. Blueberries, not strawberries. You like it? It's a hit. I like it. You like it? Good. I like it. You like it? Hi, buddy. <laughs> Woof, woof. Love is an adventure cookies for cake daddy. Cookies. <laughs>